Right, so finally I've put the American camo on my Barrett and the M48 free. Feeling American, getting into the spirit with the Super Bowl on. You know what it's like. So, boys, we're back with episode number four of Chilling and Killing, which essentially, oh, baby. Lego. Let's fucking go. What the? I actually don't know what's just happened there. That was nuts. However, yes, like I was saying, we're getting into the spirit. We're watching the Super Bowl. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I don't, wa I don't watch American football besides the Super Bowl. However, I do watch the Super Bowl every year. And by the time it comes around again the next year, I've completely forgotten the rules. It's, it's kind of funny. I get the general gist of it. It just takes for a minute for me to catch back on. That's all good. So, sorry, I was just kind of zoned out for a second then. So, yeah, I kind of forget the rules there. Obviously, I pick them back up. And it is great fun to watch, obviously, once you understand the game. Because before you understand the game, I would, I, like some of my friends say, it feels a bit slow to watch. And I appreciate that because it is a bit slow because you have to have the downs and all that kind of good shit. But I just I get into it. And then I always watch the American stream so I can get all them adverts because what is the Super Bowl without adverts, which is probably the most expensive adverts ever. Imagine how much it costs to get an advert on there. I think we could promote my YouTube channel. I'd have to sell have to sell each one of my family's kidneys just to be able to afford it probably. It'd be worth it, it'd be worth it. So yeah, like I said, the Super Bowl is just a bit of a yearly occurrence for me. And it, it does get me thinking every time I watch it because, and this is where this episode is going to go to, boys. This is going to be the topic of number four. So basically, not a lot of people know this besides my family because it's not something that I don't tell people. So it's not something that I bring up regularly. But my probably biggest dream as well as making it as a gamer, whatever that may be, content creation, however it may occur, that's obviously going to be one of my biggest dream. Number two to that, which will go kind of hand in hand, because I'm hoping this can pay off how I want it to pay off, and then it would make number two a little bit easier, in a way, and that's wanting to live in America. That's always been something that I've absolutely loved. I watch a lot of like TV programs, documentary-wise, I just... I love America, I don't know what it is, I literally, I would be like the most typical American ever, like in a little suburban house, with a family, waking up in the morning, having the breakfast, going outside in my stripy pyjamas, getting a newspaper, that, <laughs> that is the corny American person I would actually be, it's not corny, it's kind of like just what you see in movies and stuff, yeah I absolutely, I just love America and when I watch the Super Bowl, it makes me just think about it so much more and make me think about wanting to move there so much more because it is just what would make me happy, like I really don't want to spend the rest of my life in the UK, as great as UK is maybe in the bigger cities where I live, it's absolutely shocking. Well, it's not shocking, there's just nothing to do, there's no excitement. You can't go out and just do spontaneous things, like if you're in LA, you could literally drive a couple of hours and go snowboarding. To me, that is just phenomenal, it's, it's absolutely crazy, and like I said, if I could make it in YouTube, content creation, gaming, anything, that would definitely open up many more, like, pathways to be able to, like, move there. Like, look at Syndicate, he's managed, to get, he's like, has, like, an apartment in LA, there's other YouTubers that have done it, and, yeah. Right, okay, we're gonna go and hit him again with another clip. Right now. I've been hit marked. I actually don't know. He's there. That would have. I wouldn't have been lying to you. Except he likes to be prepared thinking he's good. I'll do my head in quite a bit in the game. Well, I have the most shocking team yet again. He just can't make kills or vital kills. He just get chopper after chopper. And I'm the only one that takes him out. Look. Oh, let go. I'll take it, boys. I'll take it. Nice little quad feed. While the American anthem's going on. How about that? Because I am watching the Super Bowl right now. I should have had the USA camo on. I think I'll put on after this game. And I've got J5 in my clan tag, so that will do. Yeah, so as I was saying in the last game, I um, watching the Super Bowl really does make me want to move to America, which I just love kind of like the whole thing. It just, I just love it. I don't, I don't know what it is. So another thing as well as gaming that I absolutely love, just America as a whole, as a nation, even when it gets divided like it does during the election times. It'll all be good though. It'll all be good. Though. That nearly could have been a clip. I had a Barrett, maybe. I had a Barrett, definitely. Here we've got the guy thinking he's on like Infinite Warfare jumping about. I don't know why he goes for the kangaroo approach to Call of Duty, but he seems to think it's good. I'll probably put like a bit of text over it. However, last game when I hit that little clip, I don't know why. I thought it was a lot better than it was because 
I wasn't really concentrating, so I didn't really see that I had two up. And then I seen like the plus 200 to the 300. I thought maybe I hit a collapse, possibly as stupid as I was. I thought maybe even a triple. Obviously, that does not happen on this game, not until tomorrow or so. However, there was, there was not a triple lineup there. I just thought I did it. Your boy had a little moment, you know. But I knew he was going to spawn there. The game allows it, fam. How? Allow it, fam. Allow it. Don't allow it. Yeah, so basically, going on to the whole American thing. As you all know, moving to America is not good. It's not easy. As everyone should probably know, unless you're a bit young, you need a green card to move America. It's like working visas, all this kind of stuff. I don't know too much about that, but I know for the main part, you need to have a green card. And going on to that, that will also mean that if you don't have a green card, I think it's something like a million in assets. You need to be like financially viable to America to let you in. Because as long as you can offer something to America, they'll take you in. And that's kind of like hard because... If you want to have a job there, typically you'd have to like transfer to a company or to a business and that business normally you're going to want to be needed there. So you want to have a, like a high skill set and or just like obviously a lot of people might just get the opportunity for like, certain businesses regardless of what it is. But normally it'll probably be like a skill trade, something that not every average Joe can do like myself. That's where gaming for me comes into it because gaming is something I am really good at. If it might not be sniping, it might just be games in general. I'm good at competitive games, I'm good at story mode games, I'm just good at games, it's just who I am, how I am, I enjoy it, I enjoy to grind games, I enjoy to play them all day, every day baby. And that's where YouTube obviously comes in and wanting to make videos, but obviously my main goal with YouTube, or with YouTube at the moment, would be joining a sniping team, being a successful sniper, however making great content as well, gameplay wise, and obviously that's basically being a content creator, so I'm now starting to think, normally I don't want to like associate my channel with anything else but cards. However, I'm at 27 subscribers and making, and he's got J5 in his clan tag. That was my first clip last game with a J5. I hit a bit of a slow quad feed. I might keep it. I don't know. However, yeah. Okay, so I might, like I'm at 27 subscribers. So I suppose to a lot of people, I'm not really a certain channel yet. Obviously, like if you look at Ali A, he's Call of Duty. He has a second channel, which makes sense because his main channel will literally just be people who want to watch Call of Duty. So while I'm like being a sniper on YouTube, wanting to make sniping content and wanting to make like be part of a sniping clan like Red, obviously p potentially phase in the future. But that is the biggest aspiration or the biggest goal I could set myself because getting into phase is not easy. Even if you were amazing, you can see people like Testy, they still haven't gotten phase. So it's one of them. But then. In my opinion, Testy's an awesome sniper, not the, this is nothing bad, he's not the greatest content creator, not saying I am, but it's something that I want to do. So, possibly, I'm looking into diving into other games, basically, so, obviously, when I'm playing a lot, I will be on COD sniping, but you burn out from it, you don't enjoy playing it all the time, especially with how the community is on the latest cards being so divided. It might, be for me, be a bit smarter to go into other games, because, to be honest, I think commentaries and bang out that. It's just something I can improve at and pretty naturally approach them pretty well. So if I can improve at them, become a little bit more entertaining, a little bit more better, then it shouldn't really matter what game it is. Because if I'm a content creator, people hopefully will be coming here to watch me, not particularly the game. Like if it's COD, which people think are dying out, don't want to watch it as much. But they don't have to click on that day's video, but say it could be H1Z1. That looks like that's a game I might buy. Obviously, PC gaming for me is not a problem at the moment with the rig I have. And then I could delve into like a little bit of just story mode games which uh, just came out that could always be something pretty good it was like i would have played resident evil obviously now it's a little bit late i've already watched all the playthroughs myself so i basically know what the game's about but then i could always like go into a bit of i could always go into just any game i want basically i can do games like well like i'm skilled at them so the gameplay side for me is never a problem making it I could probably go on Infinite Warfare, get you guys some nukes. I could do basically anything I wanted, but with when it comes to sniping, or when it comes to Call of Duty, sniping is my main goal. And making montages is great, episodes is great, but I really do, I do enjoy making the content side of it, just creation, making you guys great content that you will hopefully enjoy. Okay, so last game I ended off on saying about going into different games. And to be honest, I think with YouTube at the moment, especially Call of Duty, I want my channel to grow it. I'm not saying we're going to do it. It's definitely something I'm looking into though because I want to just become the best content creator I can. I want to be the, become the best YouTuber I can. And I do love gaming as whole, so why can't I make other gaming videos? That's what I'm like thinking about at the moment. I can do that. I, I'll happily do that. And I want to just create the best future I can in going into different games. 
CSGO is obviously a highly popular game all at the moment and most of the time. Just I want to be able to get my break. I want to be able to like live in America and those feelings of gaming. Probably one of the only ways I could do it. It's, I'm, it's not that I'm not a skilled person at other things, but I can't think of a trait or a skill that I have which I, could give me the potentials otherwise other than gaming. And that's why I need to make the most of it. That's why I need to try and capitalize on the time I have to make YouTube videos and do that kind of thing. Because at the moment, if I've got too many responsibilities besides work in the future, I could get tied down to a job I hate. And I, oh, I've said this in so many videos, but YouTube is just, and gaming is just something I'm so passionate about. It's just, it is just something I absolutely love. So I really, really just need to create the best future I can. Anyway, this is going to be it for episode four of Chilling and Killing. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment. Subscribe if you want to, turn on notifications because YouTube likes to mess with people's sub boxes. Anyway, have a great day. I'll see you all in the next one.